I am so, so happy to see you. I feel like it's been forever. <laughs> I know it honestly feels like that, but never mind. We have tonight to just relax and chill out. And I know you said that you'd been feeling just not really yourself, which, to be honest with you, I feel like a lot of people, including me, have been feeling that way. But, but, we are, we're here. We are together and all is going to be fine, I promise. So, as you can see, I've made you a lovely hot chocolate and I know that you love those little mini marshmallows so I've put extra on top for you. Let me know what you Good. Good. I made one for myself too, but um, I had quite a lot of the marshmallows before I actually put them on my drink, so <laughs> I have them without currently. But this is one of my favourite mugs. I don't know if you remember or not. Yes. So, on one side, as amused and then <laughs> after a stressful day I'm not amused <laughs> I'm very easily amused by things I think this was a um, like a charity red nose day mug actually from a couple of years ago but it's the perfect size for a lovely, comforting hot chocolate, which is just what I need right now. Mm. <sighs> so, why don't you tell me everything that has been going on, and I'll see if I can make you feel a bit better about things. <laughs> no, honestly. Don't skip anything. Tell me everything. I'm listening. Mm. Yeah. At the same time, well, by the sound of it, you have been sort of on a little roller coaster ride. Mm, lots of ups and downs. Yeah. Well, I know that. You know, from having hard times, when you're in that moment, everything seems just like it's sort of crashing down on top of you. But that does pass, and it's difficult to focus on in the moment, but things do get better. And when you're going through those stressful times, and it can be something that's quite minor. You mentioned a couple of things about work as well. You know, it doesn't matter how 
big or small a problem is, sometimes it can just get under your skin and just start to bother you. And it can gradually get you feeling a bit down. But those things do pass. And I always like to remember this. Will it really matter in five years' time? So whatever problems are going on, will it really matter in five years' time? Well, there you go. <laughs> but it's difficult, isn't it? Because, you know, the whole world has been going through just an awful, and we won't dwell on that too much. But, you know, we're both still here and we're carrying on with things the best we can. And I think that's all that really matters, you know? That you just take the time to do your best, you know? And did you find a solution to the work thing? Hmm. Okay. No, of course. Hold on a sec before I uh, give you my words of wisdom, although I'm not quite sure how wise they are. You look a little bit chilly. And I think in order to get in full relaxation mode, you need a nice cozy blanket. This one is actually, it's one of my favourites. It's, it's quite old. But it has a little sort of um, slit in it. So you can actually sort of properly pop this round you and wear it like a bit of a poncho thing. <laughs> but it's so, so soft. So, so soft. And I think you should pop that around yourself. But there you go. Next set. Yeah, around the shoulders. A bit better. Good. Okay. Let's think about your little work problem. I suppose the thing is, is however frustrated you may feel with things at work, you know that you shouldn't really stoop to other people's levels. So if somebody's being a little bit rude, however much you would love to be rude back, you just can't be. You've got to take that higher ground and in the long run that will be a lot, lot better. But it's difficult because work stuff can really weigh on you. But, you know, it is what it is and I hope at the end of the day find a way to chill out and relax. Have you been um, sleeping recently? Mm. Oh really? Tell me your, um, your nighttime routine. Look, I invited you over because I care about you and I want to hear everything. Like I said, I want to hear how you've been doing, how you've been sleeping, are you okay? I want to hear it all. So, please, please, waffle away. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh no. 
not right next door. Noisy neighbours are never good. Have you got yourself a pair of noise cancelling earphones? You know the little like wireless ones like the, the earbuds or whatever you can pop in? Well I find them quite useful. Um, I actually often only pop one in because I normally sleep on my side or sort of my front. But I do find that helps to um, tune them out and often as well you know I love a bit of um, ASMR but if I'm not listening to that I will pop on a sleep story or I'll actually ask um, Alexa to play some sort of white noise and I quite like relaxing train sounds that's what I ask for Alexa relaxing train sounds and it's just literally train sounds on a loop I find that oddly comforting one thing I've particularly missed I have to say whilst you know we haven't been able to go anywhere is travelling on a train um, you know obviously I drive um, but I have to say when it comes to sort of going somewhere that's, I don't know, more than, say, 40 minutes away, <laughs> which doesn't sound like a lot, but I just really like hopping on a train and, well, I, you know, I step on a train, I wouldn't recommend hopping on a train, stepping on a train and just popping myself down in a nice comfortable seat unfolding that little tray and I place my phone on that and I'll either have bought a little takeaway tea at the station a little snack or I'll ask for one you know when the train sort of starts and the little trolley comes along and I will either watch something on my phone or I will just gaze out the window and I find it so, so relaxing mm. so yes, when I like to go to sleep I find train sounds oddly comforting what's a sound that you find particularly comforting? Mm. Mm. oh, the sound of Reminds me of summer down at the beach. Yeah. See, that's what you've got to do. You've got to really find things that just make you, make you feel good, make you happy. Because at the end of the day, if you're going to bed miserable, then something needs to change. So whether it's just finding something that makes you smile or watching something that makes you laugh or even just treating yourself to a little bit of a pamper session I think that's really important because you never want to go to bed just feeling sort of angry or frustrated you just need to find ways to shut off your mind and you especially deserve to relax of course you do you have worked so hard so so hard and you know I know that you've had some brilliant triumphs that you should be really really proud of and you always need to remember those in those times of sort of stress you know? And sometimes it's good to just talk things out like this. You know, just... Just sort of putting everything out there puts things in perspective, I like to think. It's funny, we... 
sort of are happy to often listen to other people's problems but when it comes to talking about our own we're not great we often feel like we're moaning too much or we're a burden on people and don't get me wrong I think if you spend every conversation with somebody having a moan then you know perhaps there needs to be you know some light and shade in that because otherwise you can sort of get the other person feeling a bit rubbish but I think you know there's a balance it can be quite cathartic to have a bit of a moan get it all out there get it off your chest and um, yeah well exactly now when it comes to you know you said to you're getting into bed and you're just sort of laying there like that like that are you sort of looking at your phone mm -hmm. uh, do you know i Magic of Sleep, a bedside companion. Now, Calm is one of my favourite, favourite apps. I listen to their soundscapes as well as the sleep stories all the time. I love it. And this is actually their book. And I often find when it comes to falling asleep it's very very important to switch off from sort of the modern world as it were you need to just go back to basics you know I love sleep. My life has the tendency to fall apart when I'm awake, you know? <laughs> Ernest Hemingway. Hmm. Now, it contains lots of lovely sort of uh, sleep tips and a lot of nice quotes but sleep is so so important and it even gives you tips on how to make your phone sleep friendly and one of them is switching on night mode or dark mode you do that? Well, you need to start. <laughs> you do. I mean, what I like to do is I like to create a really comfortable sort of sleep experience. So I have a lovely um, silk pillowcase and I find that the cooling sort of silky nature of it as soon as I rest my head on my pillow oh, ultimate comfort it just mm, gets me in the mood to sleep and I've got a nice squinchy squinchy duvet and a nice soft sheet underneath and I have this little heart-shaped pillow and it actually has little arms on and a face, of course you know I like cutesy things and sometimes, of course, I sleep on my side I may have that by the side of me for my arm to rest on 
And I think that's what sleep is It's all about just getting yourself in that comfortable place It should be your favourite place, you know And just allowing yourself that time to recharge, you know Mm. Oh, I know, it could be, it can be so hard I think sleep is something that good sleepers really can sort of take for granted in a way Because it can be so hard to achieve But I think a regular routine is good And obviously that can be difficult Trying at least to have, you know, a semi kind of regular bedtime And just finding that time to unwind and switch off from your screen That can be really good <sighs> So, tell me what else has been troubling you? Mm-hmm Yeah Yeah Look, I, I completely understand no, Of course I do Look, I am somebody who used to spend a lot of time worrying A lot of time And over the years You have to really ask yourself What does worrying actually achieve? I read a book a while ago and it was written by an Olympic rower and it's sort of a, uh, a motivational style book and one of the quotes that I really truly live by is will it make the boat go faster? so this rower was saying that Whenever it came to the team wanting to make adjustments to the boat That would often involve perhaps a lot of time, money, energy He would always question Very simply Would it make the boat go faster? And if it would, then they'd do it And if it wouldn't, then they wouldn't and I think that can be applied to so many different things in life So when you're sat there worrying Or you've got lots of thoughts running through your mind when you're laying there in bed Ask yourself Will worrying sort of really achieve anything? You know? It makes sense in my head anyway <laughs> But point is, is that worrying means that you're human It means that you're in touch with, you know, your emotions, which is good It's good to feel something, whether it's good or bad But learning to not let things overwhelm you, I think is a really important Sort of um, growth thing, you know. I remember one of your favorite things actually we used to do in our little sort of um, pampering sessions was we used to do some face brushing. Yeah, yeah. I So, just relax Okay Shh. 
I just want you to feel completely relaxed, completely calm. your eyes, okay? Just close your eyes and just let yourself fall back. Three, two, one. And just find comfort in your surroundings. You're with me, your best friend. And you are feeling relaxed and comfortable and calm, ready to sleep. You're warm and you feel safe and loved. Everything is okay. I'm just going Allow yourself to drift, just drift, imagine yourself just relaxing in your favourite You feel so comforted and calm, the most calm 